Siemens supports us by uh, having annual meetings in Canada that the users can get together. We can network and troubleshoot issues of concern. We also hear about new innovations and new projects that are coming up in, in the research and in clinical practice. Siemens supports us um, in our institution uh, by we have a master research agreement with them, so we have WIPs that are absolutely excellent that we can incorporate into some of our clinical um, exams, and it translates our research to the clinical environment to help the patient. Um, in addition to that, we also have a great rapport with uh, the application specialists, so if we need to get a hold of them, we can call them, contact them by email, and they will help facilitate with us improving both the WIPs and our regular protocols. For the last 10 years since we set up Kubrick in Cardiff, we've been really pushing the limits of what's achievable with neuroimaging in the brain, whether it's in functional, biochemical, macrostructural, microstructural. But that's been operating within a, a real constraint. And what that constraint is that although we've been developing the theory, we've been hitting a technological brick wall that means we haven't been able to translate this into clinical practice or into research and that's really stifled the creativity. So where we're excited about partnering with Siemens is there's three main reasons. The first of all uh, there's a technology, the combination of the connecton gradients we'll be getting, the 7T system, the two prismas. Really that integrated solution allows us to answer the questions we can't answer otherwise. Secondly, Siemens the company have been uh, really listening to the customer and have developed and uh, provided a bespoke solution to our problems. And thirdly, I think it's the community, a, a very wide user base of Siemens uh, products. And it's already reached out to us and said, we're going to help you to develop your work. So I think it's that integrated platform working together that's going to underpin our research and allow us to take imaging forward into the future.